so topic is conditionals it's a grammar topic which helps you a lot in uh, speaking english correctly and uh, writing the english correctly also and in sorting out various grammatical errors uh, here and there so when we speak usually children we are, then uh, it's not always that we speak flat english then many a times we have to use certain conditions we have to talk about the situations which are either hypothetical or uh, unrealistic or uh, uh sometimes the general truths are there sometimes we even show our helplessness so here we have got the kinds of conditionals in order to tell you what conditionals are i'm going to speak a few examples and you'll be able to make out like what those conditionals are uh if you brush your teeth daily if you brush your teeth daily you never get cavities right suppose i say if you boil water it reaches 100 degree celsius so here what i'm saying if you boil water it reaches 100 degree celsius so what i'm talking about i'm talking about a general fact it's a scientific fact or a or a general fact you can't change it it will not happen that it is true with my case only uh, and when you will start boiling water it will not reach 100 degree celsius so it's a universal fact it's a scientific fact to talk about the facts which are like this okay then we use uh, and when the condition is there if you boil water it reaches 100 degree celsius so this is a realistic situation this is a general fact where the result is 100% like this only okay so if if statement is the condition and the main clause is a result so just for the knowledge sake this it reaches 100 degree celsius is a main clause or you which you call as principal clause my purpose is not to teach you clauses through this but still for your knowledge you people need to know like it reaches 100 degree celsius is a main clause and it uh, and this part if you boil water is a subordinate clause it's a subordinate clause because it depends upon that for its complete meaning right so if clause if clause takes simple present tense and main clause is also simple present tense when we are talking about a general fact got it when we are talking about a general fact then in both subordinate clause as well as in main clause we use simple present tense if if clause takes simple present and the main clause also takes simple present we are talking about the conditional sentences and the condition is if you boil water if you bo won't boil water that won't happen if you boil water it reaches 100 degrees celsius so condition is if you do this if you do this work if you boil okay if you do this action that will be the outcome so we talk about these kind of sentences as the sentences with journal facts okay it's a journal fact journal fact can be a universal fact it can be a scientific fact right another example i gave you if you brush your teeth daily twice a day you never get cavities so here what is it if you brush your teeth means this is a condition if you brush daily what will be the outcome you never get you never get cavities so in both of the cases again i'm using simple present tense simple present here also and simple present here also so this is uh, when we use simple present in both of the clauses to to denote a general fact we call it a zero conditional uh 
I'm repeating. Today, the topic we are doing is conditionals. I was telling you first, like what conditionals are. Conditional sentences are the ones where we talk about either realistic conditions or unrealistic conditions or hypothetical conditions or the general facts. Right? So basically, when we talk about conditionals, we have got four kinds of conditionals. There will be fifth kind of conditional also, but we'll be talking about that later on. But today we'll be talking about four kinds of conditionals. And the very first conditional which we are talking about is zero conditional. Why is it zero conditional? Because here tense is same in both clauses. In, in uh, subordinate clause, simple present, and in the main clause also, simple present tense. Right? You can say it like this also. You never get cavities if you brush your teeth daily. Okay, you can write the sentence like that form also. In that case, these uh, you can say is main clause is coming first and subordinate clause will come later on. Never mind. So if you brush your teeth daily, then there would be a comma. Okay, punctuation also you should know. If you brush your teeth daily, comma, you never get cavities. But in case you write it opposite, you never get cavities. If you brush your teeth daily, then there won't be any comma in between. The comma will come only when you write the subordinate clause first. So it's a zero conditional where in both of the clauses, we are using a journal or a scientific or a universal fact. Because here the outcome is going to be 100% this, which we, are, which we are talking. If you brush your teeth daily, twice a day or thrice a day, you never get cavities. That is a 100% sure fact, right? We cannot belie these facts, which we have written here, right? If I say, if the sun, if the sun rises today, it is sunny. It's sunny then. So here, if the sun rises, what will be the outcome? The day will be sunny. So it is sunny, again, present and definite. Is is the first form. I'm not using continuous, it is becoming sunny. I'm just saying it is sunny. So in both case, again, present and definite. Because if this happens, that is for sure. Okay, that will be a ultimate reality then. Okay. So this was a zero conditional where the rule is with the if clause simple present and in this main clause also simple present. Done. If done, raise hand. If done, then raise hand. Come on, be fast. If you're listening to me, raise hand. Done. And if you're listening, raise hand. That's only the way to me for me to see whether you people are attentively sitting there in the other end of the world or not. Yes, many children are attentive. So those whose hands are down, they are not listening. So the examples are Bhavesh, Arshdeep Kaur, roll number 9C. Don't put your hands down yet. So Krishna is not listening, Riza not listening, Kanish not listening. Yes, Anshya, send me the message, Anshya. Anshya send the message, there is some uh, otherwise problem. Uh, yes, Anshya, can you send message or shall I unmute you? But I won't unmute any child today, only Anshya will be unmuted. Yes, Anshya. Let me check. Raise hand, uh, Anshya, raise it, three hands. Okay. Now we are going to do the second. Uh, so this was zero conditional. Got it? 
Now we'll be doing the first conditional. I hope you might have written these examples and this rule also. There will be a doubt session later on. Now you can lower your hands. The moment I say, then raise your hands. That is only the way for me to see whether you people are listening or not. Lower your hands, Harmi, Kaur, and uh, Arpita. Lower your hand. Now the example is, if I work hard, I will get good score. If I work hard, I'll get good score. So here the point is, if I work hard, simple present. And here I'll get, so this is simple future. Here you can use any, any model, will, shall, or can, or may, okay? So the point is now, it's the first conditional. Now what's happening in this conditional? I'm talking about a situation which is most likely to happen, but maybe it, will, it may not happen. Even if I work hard, maybe I won't get the marks which I expect. Though it is possible that if I work hard, I'll get good marks, but uh, you cannot be 100% sure of this. It might be 98% guaranteed because this is what we are, you know, so many things, this kind of condition depends upon so many things. Maybe the, the way you're working hard, it's not right. Okay, maybe uh, you're working hard today and tomorrow you might not work hard. So there is a gap in the, there is a, some, you can say, uh, uh, some, there is some sort of uh, improbability in the result. The possibility of the result is not 100%. But when I was saying, if you brush your teeth daily, twice a day, you never get cavity. If you brush, you never get cavity. That was 100% sure because that's a scientific fact. That is a fact. But if I say, if I work hard, I will get good marks. There is some sort of, uh, uh, there is 98% possibility there that it will happen. But still something depends upon chance also. There is a chance factor also. So in this kind of case, we use first conditional where in this if clause, we use simple present. And in the other clause, we use simple future. If I work hard, I'll get good marks. Let me give you one more a very easy example, which you'll be able to digest. If I go to market, I will meet my friends. So here also, if I go to market, I will meet my friends. Of course, if I go to market, then suppose I maybe I won't meet the friends. Right? So if I go to the market, I'll meet my friends. So here is the point is that if you go to market, then meeting the friends is, is possible or maybe it's not possible. Maybe it doesn't happen. It's not an impossible situation, but the thing is that you cannot guarantee that your friends will be there. Okay? So many a times we always expect like if I go to market, then on that road, I see so many of my friends but maybe on that particular day, you don't meet your friends. So it cannot be 100% sure. Okay, so we use for zero conditional when there was, when there was journal or a, when, there, when it was a journal fact, scientific fact or a universal truth. But we use first conditional when we are talking about the conditions, which may not be 100% guaranteed. You cannot guarantee these things. Okay, if you guarantee 100%, then I can't uh, talk, I can't say anything about it, right? But at least I don't, and no one will. So this first conditional is very famous because this, these kinds of things usually happen. Many a times you tell your friends, like if you are going, if you go out, if you go out, 
you will see principal ma'am on the corridors if you go out you will see uh, that particular teacher in the corridor but maybe you won't see the teacher okay sometimes you expect that you might see the principal so you must carry your pass with you and when you do when you are having the pass then uh, you don't meet the principal but when you don't have the liberty pass then you come across the principal there and then then you are caught and then you say i had a bad chance i always carry the pass and i i, I and uh, no one ever catches me but today i didn't have and i was caught so this is a chance of matter of chance okay 99% it might happen but there is some possibility that it might not happen the point is if i work hard present and definite to one side i will get good score simple future in the other side now let me tell you what children what mistake children do okay so that you people also know like where you people might go wrong so have you noted this we can write hundreds of examples here but we have to cover up the other two examples of the conditionals let me uh, give you one sentence and tell me whether it is right or wrong okay those who say this is correct statement they raise one hand those who say it is a wrong statement they raise two hands for one for correct statement one hand and for wrong statement two hands come on just raise hands don't chat come on uh just a minute let me take one doubt so uh, one doubt has come that in zero conditional all of you please listen to the doubt in zero conditional does the clause have to take simple present or can it take any other tense too so the answer is the zero conditional will take only simple present tense it won't take any other tense it will take only zero it will take only simple present tense all right okay now the point is we were talking about like whether this is correct or not and the answer is i have not got the answer is this a correct correct statement if it is a correct statement raise one hand if it is wrong then raise two hands dharya says it is correct okay what about the others you have no idea yes okay there is somebody with the two hands just one i want janvi and jia just two children that's why two hands okay 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 ritika i'm not sure what you want to say you got uh, two things one thumbs up and one raise the hand Uh, riyanshika yes riyanshika riyanshika raise hand riyanshika okay you are saying it is uh, wrong hai na if you speak the truth you get its fruit very soon so only riyanshika is saying that it is wrong do you agree that it's wrong if you speak the truth you get its reward very soon so as per this i have used present simple present here and simple present here if both are simple present it means it is zero conditional and zero conditional means when the result is also when the result is going to be 100% sure but how can you you be sure of this sometimes when you speak the truth you don't get its fruit ever 
okay so this answer is this statement is wrong i should so riyanshika was correct over here okay so the point is now look you listen uh yes riyanshika you are right you were saying that this is wrong and this is right i mean your answer is right that it is a wrong statement the correct answer would be if you speak the truth you will get you will get its fruit very soon because you are not 100% sure of the correct of this answer of this condition you are 98% or you are 80% sure because this is not possible when you speak the truth you may get its fruit or you may not get but this is how we say like beta if you speak the truth you will get its arush i don't know arush beta arush i don't know okay leave it arush never mind whatever the way you have answered the point is that i wanted to just uh, uh, raise one question you might have been able to make out whether you knew this answer or not if you speak the truth you get it you will get should be there because uh, the outcome is not guaranteed is it clear now if clear then raise hand okay okay it's okay lower your hands now let's talk about the now which conditional shall we talk about first zero conditional was when the outcome is 100% guaranteed first conditional is when the outcome is 90% guaranteed not fully okay and now we are going to talk about the second conditional yes i'm giving you one example first you people write if i went there if i went there i would meet my friend in order to make the things clearer i am giving you one more example if i were a bird i would fly hi so this example is i guess more able to make you have a better idea so now this conditional is totally unrealistic okay this is totally unrealistic because if i were a bird because number one you can't be a bird right now okay can you be a bird it's only your wish if i were a bird i would fly high so this is a little bit of uh, like it is 90% unrealistic okay if some magician real magician comes then he might make you become a bird but, but otherwise 99% chances are there like it might not happen so if i were a bird i would fly high so when we have this kind of unrealistic situation we use uh simple past tense here and would plus first form or any modal would or could or might okay so any model uh, any modals second form with first form okay it can be could also it could be might also so if i were a bird i would fly high or if i went there i would meet my friend so like though i think like uh, uh there is no possibility i go there i think that i i won't go there but suppose if i went there suppose i go there suppose i went there i would meet my friend means the point is number one this won't happen what won't happen i will not go there it is not possible if i went there but if if i went there i would meet my friend but the point is i will not go there and i will not meet my friend so this is about the very unrealistic situation where we use simple past tense here and would plus first form of verb there it can be could also it can be might also mind it so this is the second conditional right
okay if i say if i were you if i were you can you be you can i be you not but if i were you i would do it very fast if i were you i would do it very fast so here again simple past and there also would plus first form the meaning is again same that number 1 i can't be you but if i were you then i would do it very fast means uh, you are very slow point is this you are very slow but if i were you then i could have shown you like how to do it is that clear now let's come to the third next part that is uh, the favorite of many people next conditional if i had worked hard i would have passed what kind of situation is it what kind of situation is it if i had worked hard i would have passed uh if i don't let me not ask you condition uh let me uh, what what's the result of uh, why am i saying this if i had worked hard i would have passed why am i saying this yes money away very good it its answer is i am saying like this because i failed this has happened ye ho chuka hai i have failed after failing i am saying this if i had worked hard i would have passed so when the things are not in your hands it's not a matter of possibility or impossibility it's a matter of regret okay when do we regret when the things are out of our reach okay when we cannot do anything but only but only regret so this is next conditional which conditional it was fourth one i guess So it's the fourth conditional where had plus third form that is past perfect. With if mind it, you are to use past perfect, and here you are to use modal would plus have plus third form. So remember this rule for the fourth conditional when you are talking about a regret, when you are talking about a situation when the things are out of your reach. then you say something like this when it's a regret if i had worked hard i would have passed if i had attended the classes today i would have learned conditional sentences the children those who are not attending the class today they might say after an hour when you people will tell like today we have learned conditional sentences right right okay anshya it's okay so if it's third one it's third conditional okay so if i had worked hard i would have passed so the point is what point is what like here the answer situation is not in your hand now your only main thing is like it's about the past it's not about the future okay when we were talking about the zero conditional then that was about future also okay that was about present and future both when we were talking about the first conditional what was that if you speak the truth you will get the fruit of your action so that was the present and future both but when you say if i were you i would i would do it fast that was again present and future both but here it is totally past it's about past regret okay for example if i had gone to market i would have purchased some new dresses for myself 
so he, if i had gone to market i would have purchased some presses but what's the result now what's the action what makes me say this what makes me say this what makes me say this come on uh yes yes i didn't go to market and i didn't get dresses good i didn't go to market or i didn't get the dresses good answer jia babu jia and janvi and uh, okay so if i am saying like this because i didn't get dresses because i didn't go to market who i knew ka that's why i'm regretting now if i had gone to market i would have purchased some dresses but i didn't have go very bad so that is what so tomorrow we might continue with this topic a little bit more because still there are something a few things more to be discussed about this conditional meanwhile thank you very much we'll see you tomorrow